hey guys again welcome to our channel dev town so guys today we will learning and discussing about the pandas okay you may have like listen this term before also i know so in this video i will tell you the introduction like how you can install the pandas in your system how you can like operate the programs in your jupiter by using the pandas so it would be a very great video guys okay so please watch this video till the end everything will be, everything will be very much clear to you guys okay so now coming to the part guys like why we use pandas like what was the need of it so as you know in the data science it is a very growing field as i have told you earlier also so pandas is used for working with data sets it is used for functions for analyzing cleaning exploring and manipulating data okay guys and it was created by mckinney in 2008 let me write it down the screen because knowing this thing small small is very much like important okay guys so let me write the name of the inventor because guys in like suppose you are giving an interview or something else so the interview will, will ask these basic thing okay and it was invented in 2008 i hope that till now there is no issue guys everything is clear and now guys coming to the point like why we use panda okay like why only panda there can be anything else like excel is also working on the data and there are many much google sheets and everything there these all stuffs are also like for the data but like why only panda so now we will discuss about it okay guys so pandas allows us to analyze big data now you understand the term big data like you are for an example suppose uh, take an example of a bank okay so bank is having a data of like lakhs of customers lakhs of user okay so it is very important for us and for the user also that data should be like like processed in a language which is much easier okay and which can like process the big data okay we are not having like 50 or 100 data we are having 1000 and lakhs of data so that's why we use panda because it is like capable of big data analysis and make conclusion based on statistical theories okay it makes conclusion based on the statistical theories and it can also clean messy data sets and make them like readable and relevant okay suppose you are having a raw data and it is very much messy you are not able to like get the insight from it or you are not getting anything like understanding okay so it will clean the data okay guys and guys you know that relevant data is very important in data science and if you are not familiar like what is data science okay so let me tell you one more time so it is a branch of computer science where we like know and study how to store use and like analyze the data okay and guys now coming to one more point like what can pandas do okay let me first write this thing on the screen okay so let me tell you guys so pandas is like capable of doing many tasks such as is it can give you a maximum value it can find the minimum value for it suppose you are having suppose for an example take guys okay you are having a shop and you are give like having a sale of one day you are getting a sale of 5000 one day you are getting a sale of 10000 20000 so on so it can also find the average value okay it can also give you a like in which day you are getting the maximum sale the minimum sale okay okay and it can also like find the correlation between two or more like columns or sale you can say suppose for an example suppose you are getting a more sale on sundays okay so it will find the correlation it will tell you like in sundays you are getting the large number of sales so according to it like the shopkeeper will prepare himself it, it will prepare the staff it can do anything okay so this is the like use of panda 
and like the working of panda now guys coming to the point like how you can use the panda so you just have to like open this anaconda prompt okay and let me open this and here you have to type jupyter lab okay not notebook lab okay see guys as you can see it has redirected my browser now it is being open on my system local host okay okay yeah fine guys now we have opened the folder okay it was already open in my system now what you have to do <coughs> okay guys so now first me rename it like pandas okay so now what we will do you just have to like import panda okay okay guys and now you have to pandas now you have to check the version okay guys now you can see it is showing me the version of my panda which is 1.4.4 okay guys so it is very easy to like use the panda and now suppose guys like after the prompt if uh, if your browser like redirect you so if you are like this tab shows and another option so you have to search for the python okay so it is very simple guys you will understand when you will do this thing by your hand it will be very much relatable and now from here guys you can like write any code in the pandas you can do anything you want okay now guys our first part after installing it is the series okay now what is series okay a panda series is like a column in a table now let me show you with an example so it will be very much clear to you guys for an example we have a suppose we have the elements in it of 1 comma 5 comma 4 okay guys i hope that till here like there is no issue and suppose we have like now my like program pro okay so now you have what you have to do you have to like start with this pd and now what is this pd so now the pa pandas packages can be referred to as pd instead of pandas okay so you can refer like packages of pandas as pd i hope guys that till here everything is very much clear and if it is not you can definitely tell me in the chat box or comment box i will solve your any query if you give okay guys and now if we print it like we printed my program okay guys it is giving an error let me tell you why so i have like done this thing like to show what is the main problem like the coders do so we have forgot to import the pandas as pd okay as i have told you so you have to do this pandas as pd you know if you are this now see guys now it is working okay now it is giving us a like we have it is giving a list okay series from a list so you can see 154 which is the elements of a and 012 okay i hope that this thing is very much clear and now guys there is one more thing which is labels let me write it down the screens okay okay so now what are this labels if nothing else is specified the values are labeled with their index number okay so if nothing is specified the value i have told you like how the index work okay so first value has index 0 second value has index 1 etc index 2 okay i hope that you are getting the index i which i have told you earlier so this label can be used to access a specified value okay like the indexing i have told you in which we like operate the specified value so in this we can do that as well now let me show you with an example okay guys let me now copy this
Now suppose I have to like open the value one. So how I will do this guys, it is very simple. You just have to like this start with the program name, which is my program and in which you have to like give the indexing which you want to open. And if I run this, see now I'm getting the value one. Okay. So I hope like everything is very much clear why I'm getting one because I am like opening the value of index 0, 0, 1, 2. So this is the like how our indexing working. So at 0, there is a like value 1. So it is giving us a 1. I hope guys that this thing is very much clear and please this try this thing in your own PC. So there is no doubt and you will have a good practice. Okay. And please guys subscribe to our channel DevTown.